Hello, folks. How we doing? Hi, Brody. Early first one in, as always. Oh, that's like a little lechonk emoji. I haven't even seen that. That's awesome. Mm. We're here. We're playing Pokemon Emerald once again. I'm really excited about it. Um, this guy is going to give us a cutscene here. But I wanted to pop over here, just kind of show you I fought this guy off screen. He has a Machop. It's no big deal. But I wanted to kind of show, like, maybe some of the encounters that you can find over here. This is where you find Abra in this game. Now, Abra is very tough. It is a Pokemon that will always teleport away. Um, and playing like this on an emulator, we can't really get an Alakazam because we can't trade. Um, and then we've got Poochyena also, of course. Um, but there is another Pokemon that you can find over here that, uh, is kind of a key Pokemon for the area. And you know what? We're just going to get into the story stuff. <laughs> Because you can find this Pokemon later, I'll definitely be able to show it off to you. So here, we have this guy. Remember, he got his goods stolen and we got it back from the Team Aqua Grunt in the cave. Oh, how did it go? The Devon Goods? You did. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. All right. Nice. Another Great Ball. Thanks, homie. All right. Please, come with me. Ah, this is the Devon Corporation's third floor. I said, I told you we'd come here. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Ooh, that parcel you got back for us. Okay, so he wants us to deliver it to the shipyard in Slateport City. That's a city we've not been to. All right. Um, how was Piccolo paralyzed? Piccolo was paralyzed, I believe, from the battle earlier. It might be from the one battle I did off screen um, where we fought that Machop. Hmm. So now we're going to talk to the Devon Corporation's president. All right. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got a word about you. You saved our staff, not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you are delivering a package to Slateport Slip Shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Dufer Town? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Stephen in Dufer Town. That morphed. I feel like any time I put on a voice, it starts out like kind of normal and then it just devolves into something insane. All right. So we got the letter for Steven. We don't know who Steven is yet. Um, if you're a player of Gen 3, of course you do. Um, let's see. Ah, so he's going to give us something. The PokéNav. This is kind of like the smartphone of this game, basically. We had the Poké Gear, I believe, in... Uh, Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Navigator, or Pokedav for short. Um, and yeah, there's a lot. There's a big map on there. Magma and Aqua. Ooh, interesting. Do you think they're rivals? Okay. Oh, and he gives us a nice little... Nice little free heal. Thanks, dog. All right. So now we have this letter. This letter that we have to give to uh, Steven in Duford Town. And we have a uh, a parcel that we need to take to Slateport City. Uh, let's see. <laughs> the guy who made the phone can't just call Steven, you know? <laughs> that is a great point, man. <laughs> He's like, here is this new state-of-the-art, high-tech, awesome phone device. Send this letter to Steven. That's very funny. Um, okay. Ah, uh, but this is actually what we're about to see. Ah, uh, I added a new feature called Match Call. So, this is something that's way easier than um, it was in Pokemon Crystal because you have to, like, get the numbers from people when they ask for it. But here, if you can get someone's number, it automatically registers it in here, and they won't call you all the time. You can call them if you want to rebattle them, and you will see that later. Since you called me, the Pokenav must be working properly. Other people will be registered, so try calling them up too. Ah, I'm looking down at you from my office window. Ha 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 ha. See you again, son. Oh, I don't want to call him again. And so here is the... Oop. Oh, we can't check out the map right now. That's interesting. Must have been only for that thing. Hold on, now can we check out the map? 
Very odd. Um, so here is the map of the Hoenn region. Um, as you can see, Duford Town is down here. It's on an island. And Slateport, that's Little Root. That's where we started. And then there's Petalburg. Here we are in Rustboro right here. And Slateport City is going to be this port town down here. Um, I won't get into, into too much of the stuff beyond um, our little... <laughs> <laughs> Delete his number as an idiot. Just phone him. Um, let's see. All right. So now we are going to be on our merry way. We skipped some trainers over there by Rust Turf Tunnel, but uh, we're going to come back and fight them. We just don't have our true squad right now. Um, so we're going to hold off on that for the time being. Um, all right. And there's actually something down here. We have our rival. This is actually, I'm almost positive, um, an optional fight with our rival. So I am going to save because she might smoke us. Um, uh, yeah, her starter hasn't evolved yet, so that's fine. Oh, hi, SCG. You had a match call feature put in your Pokemon. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Ah, yes. So we have to go visit Mr. Briny. Okay, so here we can battle May, And like I said, this is an optional battle. So we'll see if she uh, she creams us or not. And if you're just getting here, thanks for being here. I really appreciate this. I love this game. I love this game. It is wondrous. Um, ah, yes, and our Zigzagoon has Headbutt now. So that is a very nice... A uh, normal type move for this part of the game. Okay, good flinch there. Ziggy's putting in her work. There we go. Um, so yeah, there's Lotad. That's actually the Pokemon that the Professor shows us at the very beginning of the game. Alright, so now we're going to get into Torchic. This is the big one. Here I'm going to bring in Cloud because we have that uh, nice water gun. And Cloud's actually going to be very useful in the next gym as well. Wingle's actually a really good Pokemon for the early game in Generation 3 because it has water moves for Roxanne and flying moves for Brawly. Brawly likes to get in brawls. What do you think uh, kind of Pokemon he has? Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Hashtag don't vape, kids. Brody, I'm with you. I'm with you, dude. Mm. This thing is a crit machine. I think it did just use focus energy. I kind of, I lost focus myself. <laughs> but, all right, now with Torchic down, we should be, we should be just about in the clear. Oh yeah, she's only got two Pokemon. I wasn't even paying attention. Guys, you're better than I expected. Yeah, our, uh, we kind of have a real power trio going right now with Zigzagoon, Wingle, and, uh... ah. Mr. Brownie was once a revered seafarer with Zigzagoon, uh, Wingle, and Trico. Like I said, we got a real power trio. Let's speed this up. Just a tiny little hair. There we go. All right, folks. We're going to be on our merry way. And again, I'm going to be skipping some of these trainers. I'll come back and fight them later. Um, I'm going to do my patented Gen 3 skip trick as long as I don't mess it up. Ah, yes! There's our first use of an HM. It looks really cool in this game. Um, uh, again, the production value here is huge step up. There we go. Left him in the dust. Ah, and once we step over here, we can cut to this side of Petalburg Woods. It's always nice coming back here once you get cut. I think I have a repel. Yes, I do. I got five, as a matter of fact. I know there's a few hidden items. Yes, a tiny mushroom. I don't think a tiny mushroom does anything. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but you can sell it. Oh, yes, this is great. This woman gives us the miracle seed. And as you know, we didn't use it in our crystal playthrough. But it is an item, a hold item, that... Powers up grass-type moves. Absolutely perfect for our pal, Piccolo. What an alliteration. Um, all right, so here. Oh, another great ball. 
yeah, really just on this side of Petalburg Woods, there's nothing crazy. It's just uh, an opportunity to grab some of these items over here. Like, got that Great Ball, got that X Attack, Miracle Seed. It's nice to venture on this way. There's a Pokeball here, maybe? A potion. A potion. All right, so now this actually spits us out right here by Petalburg City. There we go. And I'm actually going to stop over here at Petalburg City. So we can sell some of those X items that we got because we're not really going to use those. I am never one to use X items in a playthrough. Um, X items are really great. I mean, they are really strong. And uh, I find like they're really good for people who are speed running games. Um, a plain mushroom that would sell for a cheap price. I'll take it. I'll go ahead and sell it. There we go. Watch, someone's gonna comment on this later and be like, the tiny mushroom is the most powerful item in the game, and I never knew it. Yes, Brody, Wingle does get wing attack at level 13, so that's going to be extremely important for our uh, next gym battle. Um, so this is a great part of the game. I love it so much. We're gonna go here. This is so interesting. I think they like nerfed this in this game because in Ruby and Sapphire, it's so hard to like get between Mr. Briny and Pico. They're just chasing each other for some reason in here. Let me see if I can do it here. There we go. <laughs> All right, hold on last, wait up Pico. Hmm, you're SCG, you saved my darling Pico. We owe so much to you. What's that? You wanna sail with me? You have a letter bound for Duford and a package for Slateport. Quite the busy life you must lead. Quite certainly what you're asking is no problem at all. You've come to the right man. We'll set sail for Duford. Absolutely. Okay. So, this is awesome. Dad, oh, where are you now? It sounds windy wherever you are. I just heard from Devin's Mr. Stone about your poking Ah. Oh. So he gave our dad our number, so that's cute. Ah, registered Dad Norman in the Ave. So back to the sailing. Ah, absolutely lovely. So now. Oh, great music here. Mm, love it. All right, we've hit land in, du in Duford. I suppose you're off to deliver that letter to, who was it now? Steven. Yes. So something that the game wants you to do, this guy gives us the old rod, actually. And this is actually really great um, because right here you can catch... Um, a Magikarp or a Tentacool. That's actually a really nice Pokemon to catch at this point in the game. But we're not using either of those for our playthrough because that's a little bit too easy for us here. Um, I want to... I have... Again, I have quite a challenge planned. But uh, so here is a, P, is a Pokemon Center. There's actually not a Mart in this town, funny enough. Here we have a couple battles. We'll, again, we'll skip them for now. Um because we are actually going to add our next team member here in the next area. And this is actually where we are going to find Steven. It is Granite Cave, which is pretty cool. So this guy here, he tells us that it gets awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough trying to explore. Ah, the guy came by earlier, Steven, so we know he's here. But so he gives us the HM for Flash. Now, what the game wants you to do is it wants you to defeat the second gym here in Duford Town first. But as long as you can get the letter to Steven, you'll be able to progress through the game. And it kind of wants you to beat the gym so you can use Flash. But uh, I know how to get through the cave without Flash. It's not that hard. And the cave functions a lot differently um, not the cave. Flash functions, functions a lot differently in this game. So here is Makuhita! 
It is a new fighting Pokemon for Generation 3. It's very cool, a cool little kind of like sumo wrestler bow bun guy. Uh, love Makahita. Um, but again, not. Ooh. I have a repel, but I want to add another member to the squad. So here we have a level 10 Makuhita. Hmm. You know what? I will try to catch this. I don't know if we're going to use him. But I will catch him. Alright. There we go. How many Pokeballs do I have, by the way? I've got 10. That's plenty. Perfect. If anyone's got a Makuhita name, throw it out right now, please. Um, let's see. So we have this Makuhita fudge cake. Love it. <laughs> uh, if you hear quaking rumbles in a cave, is the sound of Makuhita undertaking strenuous training. Love it. So this Makuhita shall henceforth be named fudge cake. Let's see. Will that fit? It should. Absolutely. Okay, just do a space... Uh, just about a perfect name for a Makuhita, I would say. And I think level 10 is about as high a level as you can catch it. You might be able to catch it at a little bit of a higher level uh, down in the cave, but... So here we are in the darkness of Granite Cave. I'm going to put Piccolo here. <laughs> no, my belly's rumbling for fudge cake. You can say that again. Um, so here I'm actually just going to pop a save because I have anxiety. Um... And here, let's see if I remember. As you can see, in Generation 2, it is just completely dark in every way. Oh, this is interesting. Let me show you this. Um, but in Generation 3 here, you have kind of like a little bubble of light. Now, this bad boy is the next member of our squad. Um, I love this little guy. He is a rock and steel type. As you can see, there's kind of like this slippery hill here. And that is something that we'll encounter throughout our journey here in Hoenn. But uh, there's a way to get through that. We just don't have it yet. Now, I'm not catching any of the... I have never really been solid on how to pronounce it. You can just call it Aaron. I just call it Aran, I think, is usually how I pronounce it in my head. Um, I know it's kind of supposed to be a play on the word iron. Because it's kind of like this cool little creature that like eats the sediment or whatever in cave in the cave and uh it's able to form kind of like a like a metal coating on its body from it um but if we go down one more level as you can see we're gonna go down here yes this should be a good spot to catch our buddy Ooh. Bop, 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 bop. Ah, uh, yes, of course, Zubat. Would not be a cave without Zubat, baby. Would not be a cave without Zubat. So I'm definitely going to be looking for another Aran here. This is a cool Pokemon, Sableye. Um, it's kind of like a creepy ghost Pokemon. It's a ghost dark type. Um, and as you can see, its eyes are made of gemstones. Um, and it, like, eats gemstones as its thing. Which is really cool. Yes, we gotta go all the way over here. Yes, there's some rocks. There we go. I know where we're going now. So here we have an Everstone. We're probably not gonna use that, but there's an Everstone. All right, so I'm gonna try to stay on this floor to find our next run. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to hold out for one that's above level ten, if I can. Um, uh, if if I can, I'll find one, maybe a level, level 11 or 12, but um, I might have to wait for one, settle for one at level 10. Oh, uh, yes, Brody. Um, Brody is saying that Sableye has no weaknesses, um, which is true. Dark and um, Ghost, that type combination in this game, has no weaknesses. Um, a weakness is introduced in a later generation, but none in this game. And that's why they don't make it too powerful. Sableye is like a single evolution. It doesn't evolve. Um, it's okay. Um, but it's not super good. 
because if it was really powerful, that would be really overpowered. Um, all right, guys, so at this rate, it's taking a little while longer for us to find our Aran here. So I am going to, or Aaron? If it's a play on iron, would it just be Aaron? Anyway, I'm gonna call it Aaron. Aaron. So I'm just gonna catch this one. This shouldn't kill it, it's not super effective, right? Yes, the steel type makes it so it's not super effective. But it's not gonna be too much be able to do too much to our pal Piccolo here. Let's see. Let me hit it with one more absorb and then we should be able to catch it. I was just hoping that wasn't a critical hit. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, Gen 4, yes. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I found a Pokeball in here. In, gener in the next generation, there's also another dark and uh, ghost type that they introduce. Very nice. Uh, do we have a nickname for Iran? You know what? I might call an audible. Hold on, Brody, what's your nickname suggestion? Because I have a good one too. Uh, a Pokemon that is clad in steel armor. A new suit of armor is made when it evolves. The old discarded armor is salvaged its metal for making iron products. How about that? Absolutely. All right, I'm just going to name this bad boy Ron. Just Ron. Classic Ron. Love it. My grandfather's name was Ron. <laughs> Optimus Prime. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> the chat didn't come in time. So here, all we got to do is go across, and we are back to the entrance. Um, let's see. We're going to use a repel now, now that I don't have to catch anything. So now we just run across the top. As you can see, that's where we were at the beginning of the cave, but we're now above the ledge. We can jump down when we're done, but here is where we find our guy. My name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Oh, a letter for me. Awesome. Okay, thank you. You went through all this trouble to deliver that. I need to thank you. Let me see. I'll give you this TM. Ah, his favorite move is Steel Wing. A very respectable favorite move, I might say. Skarmory is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, as we know. Your Pokemon appear quite capable. If you keep training, you can even become the champion of the Pokemon League one day. Ah, okay. So he registers us in our PokéNav. Brody says he looks like a champion. I don't know, Brody. He might be a champion. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, so then Steven goes away. And we can hop down here, hop, hop. And now we're back to the beginning. All righty. So here, this is one other thing, kind of like a small thing, is that there's actually a little bit of three dimensionality, three dimensionality, is that a word? Anyway, to things in this game where you can kind of go behind stuff, um, which is really nice. I don't think you can do that in the first two gens. All right, so we entered Granite Cave with our power trio, but we came out of Granite Cave with a couple new squad members. Um, let's see. So what I'm probably going to do here, we definitely want to see our win goal get to level th uh, 13 because... Wing Attack is going to be very good for the upcoming Fighting Gym. Um, I'm going to let Ron get his beak wet over here against this here Fisherman. And I believe he has some tentacles, or one of them One of them does. There it is. And Tentacool, in the early going, really likes to use um, Poison Sting, and it won't be able to affect our boy Ron. Ah, Super Sonic can, though. And that's really annoying. Um, a great thing that Ron has going for him is that he already has the move Headbutt and he already has the move Mud Slap, which is really nice. That could come in handy in the upcoming gym. Um, it will definitely come in handy later. The only problem is, being a Rock and Steel type, Ron is actually four times weak against the upcoming gym leader. So... 
is not great. Ron's probably not going to be able to do much in the next gym. So that is another reason why we need to get Cloud up to level 13. Uh, Ziggy also does not have a very good matchup here. But maybe Fudge Cake can pull his weight a little bit. Um, we'll see. We'll fight, a, we'll fight a couple trainers and we'll make our way back down. Which do you prefer, fishing in the sea or a stream? I don't know, man. I don't really like fishing. Are any of you folks uh, in the audience outdoorsy people? I'm not really. Because <laughs> a lot of people think about people that like playing video games, like playing Pokemon games. They might like to fancy themselves like, oh yeah, I would love to go on my own little Pokemon adventure. I would have so much fun, I would want to really travel out in the wilderness and look for Pokemon. I'm like, that sounds terrible to me. <laughs> The idea is fun, um, but I wouldn't want to actually do it. Um, uh, wait to evolve Piccolo until 46 to get Giga Drain? Ah, oh, dude, I don't know about that. <laughs> That's way long to have a Trico. Um, one thing that they definitely do in this game, is, and kind of what Brody's alluding to, is um, a lower level Pokemon will get moves that its um, evolved counterpart won't actually get. And Trico gets the move Giga Drain by level up, but its evolved forms actually don't. Um, also, you will have noticed, when I used Mud Slap that last turn, Tentacool did not lose accuracy. It's supposed to. But Tentacool actually has an ability called Clear Body that prevents it from having its stats lowered, which is pretty cool and a very good ability to have. There we go, Ron. Hmm, hmm. There is a TM for Giga Drain, but, but true gamers wait, says Brody. Let's see, let's use Fudge Cake against this Magikarp. Magikarp literally can't fight back against us. Um, ah yes, Makuhita comes equipped with this new fighting type move called Arm Thrust. And it's just another one of those moves that hits two to five times. It's a lot like Bullet Seed. Um, it, can, it can come in handy in a pinch. I do love Makuhita. He might be able to stay on the squad at least for a while. It is very annoying that they both only hit twice. I'm hoping that a nice like five turn arm thrust can maybe uh, get us a win coming up here okay so I'm looking at our squad that I have planned and this is probably going to be what our squad looks like for the foreseeable future ah yes and this guy's gonna register uh, in our Pokenaf love it and like I said you can sorry I'm burping um, call people back. Like, if you look here, there might be a hidden item here. Yes, there is. Yes, there is, baby. I've certainly played this game before. Uh... <laughs> so, uh, a few things. That item we just got is a Stardust. That is an item that sells for a thousand Poké Dollars, which is pretty nice. Um, and what I was showing you here, since we have, like, this guy, uh, Fisherman Elliot, um, to the right, there will be, like, a little Pokemon, Pokeball icon um, when you can rematch any trainers that you register in your Pokemon. So let me... Do we need to heal right now? No, nah, we're fine. Um, I'm just going to pop over here, and we are going to talk to Mr. Briny. So now that we have given the letter to Steven, we can... Um, move on to Slateport, but I want to go back to Petalburg, and when he says Petalburg, he just means um, going back to his little cottage right outside of Petalburg. There we go. And we will pay him a visit once more, but we're going to fight some of the trainers that we skipped now that we have our boy um, Ron in tow. Let's see. Let's get... Let's get Cloud and Ron up, because we are going to encounter some double battles here soon. Um, 
And I believe we did one earlier. Sorry, let me just pop this repel here. Um, we did a double battle earlier that was like a true double battle with these two young sisters, but let me go through here real quick. Sorry, backtracking just a hair. We're finally gonna fight this guy. Hello, sir. Um, this guy, <laughs> I have a lot of money. <laughs> this guy, um, he is a lot like the woman that we fight right before Petalburg Woods, where um, they give us a lot of money. He's a man of his word. Let's see. Gen 60 with 55 battles. Oh, and he has a forest storm. Hmm. So now we're gonna... There's that uh, accuracy drop that we're looking for with Mud Slap. Um, so we are gonna fight this, this fella and a lot of other people um, that we skipped when we were uh, getting ready for Roxanne. Because I wanted to have Ron here on the squad. Because I didn't want to have all of that experience go to Pokemon that we're not going to use in the long run, you know? Ah, yes. And he gives us his number as well, which is awesome. Because he will be... Oh, wow. Yeah, she gets you from real far away if you're not looking. Okay. Um, and that's very good because, again, he has a lot of money. I believe this woman has a Lotad and a C Dot. Mmm. Big beautiful one shot there. Oh, just a Shroomish. We've seen a Shroomish. But, uh, how's everybody's day today? My day was fine. Um, nothing too crazy at work. Um, everyone was pretty, uh, <laughs> civilized for the most part. Um, but, uh, I'm really coming down to the end of the year at my job, so I am really anticipating some of the kids just getting crazy. <laughs> oh, and that's actually pretty interesting that I fought these people later, because I don't know if you can register someone after you've already battled them. You might just be able to talk to them, and they'll register you. I'm, I don't really know. Um, this guy, does he have a lot of Pokemon? He's only got three. Sorry about the noise here. Hold on, I'm just gonna mute that for now. Just because this guy's only got three Magikarps. We're gonna speed through a little bit. Um, this will be three one-shots, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, um, after this... Oh, it's not three one-shots. I'll be darned. But uh, after this week, I only have two weeks left of school, which makes me very happy and excited. Um, but the kids are kind of starting to get restless. So it's... I knew that was going to miss. <laughs> um, there we go. That took longer than it needed to. Thank you, Ivan. There we go. All right, we can... We back. All righty. So now we're going to pop in here because Ron is just about out of headbutts. Just about out of butt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> do, dee, do, do. There we go. Thank you, Nurse Joy. Rustboro is a really good city. It's a really good first city. It has a lot of character. Um... Again, they don't really, like, look at those street lamps. That's just lovely. Um, they weren't really able to do that much as far as, like, character goes in the older games, so this is really lovely. Um, and I'm going to use another repel here. I'm actually going to buy more before we leave Rustboro City. Ah! There's another one. Hello. And we have our guy, Bug Catcher, here. Ah, ba, 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 ba. Uh, yes, Wurmple. I think Wurmple is another heavy poison sting user, which is really nice to kind of have that walled off with Ron, uh, because poison, it's not the biggest deal in the world, but it can be quite annoying. There we 
go. We're gonna get him to level 12 soon, but for our friend Ninkata, we're gonna go with Cloud. Because we got that super effective Wotagan. Should one shot, I would think. <clears throat> Love to see it. Nice critical hit. Nice critical hit. Lovely. Alright. Can't get out. Alright, this person has fighting types. I think I'm gonna bring in our boy Fudge Cake just for this fight. Maybe he can catch a level. Or, or does she not have fighting types? I thought she was a battle girl. Oh, nope, she's a schoolgirl. School kid! Oh my gosh. What is this, a baby game? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. I love this game so much. Uh, we might get Effect Spore here. That is a big shroomish ability. If you hit shroomish with an attack that does like makes like physical contact, um, it can put a status effect on you. It can poison you, it can paralyze you, it can put you to sleep. Um, but we'll see if that actually happens. Let's see. Excuse me. Nope, didn't happen. Love to see it. Ah, uh, yes. Again, these are people I don't usually uh, get because I fought all of them. Okay, let's get Ron back here. And we fought these people. Yeah. And I believe we fought this guy as well. Yes. So now, um, like I said, with those people, we encountered this. But something that happens a lot in Emerald, and this is something that they don't do in Ruby and Sapphire, is that they line up two trainers just like that, um, so that when you run in, run into their line of sight, it becomes a double battle. So they'll both see you, just like that. And yeah, again, they don't do that in Ruby and Sapphire. There's like a lot fewer trainers in the game in Ruby and Sapphire for that reason. Which again, I am excited at the possibility of playing Ruby and Sapphire just to kind of like show off the differences. Um, I would probably want to wait a while because I don't want to do Gen 3, you know, like twice in a row or anything, but um, it's just cool. It's cool to see some of those differences. Um, and, you know, if you're not, like, a huge Pokemon fan like I am, that's something that you would never know. Um, and I do really like how in Generation 3, there is a lot more depth to, like, the third version here. Um, as much as I love Crystal, there aren't that many changes between Gold and Silver and Crystal. There are some, of course, but there are certainly, like, way more in Emerald. see here. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. So Ron's up to level 12, which is absolutely excellent. Um, let's see. Ah, Puccina. This would actually be a really good Pokemon to bring in our boy Fudge Cake. Dark type Puccina. Alright. We'll just do that. And that is just another one of the many reasons that I love Emerald is because they really, like, actually emphasize double battles, which is really cool. Um, because, again, Ruby and Sapphire introduced the mechanic, um, but Emerald, like, really steps it up a notch in a really cool way and really gives this game, like, look at all that money, baby really gives this game like a nice like signature um, in that way because there really aren't any other Pokemon games that do this like at least certainly not as much as this game does 
Um, I'm gonna let Fudge Cake take this one because I want him to get at least one more level before the next gym. Um, and again here, we have just a couple double battles up here in um, amongst these cut trees. Let's just kind of get through this. Okay, they only have one Pokemon apiece. Now, Ralts would be a very bad matchup for Fudge Cake here. In fact, I'm going to double up attacking it. I don't know if it knows Confusion yet. If it does, that will be very bad. <laughs> If it knows Confusion, it has not used it yet, which I love to see. Um, so I am just going to let Makuhita finish off the Ralts, but I'm actually going to bring in Piccolo for this here Meryl, because it's going to get really annoying, um, especially if it's going to be increasing its defense a lot. Let's see. Da -da. Let's see what do with there and there. I would hope this could kill it, especially with Miracle Seed. Only two turns! Gosh dang it, guys. I feel like we've had really bad luck with Bullet Seed and Arm Thrust this, uh, this stream. Unless this turns it around. It did not. Okay. Do. But no need to worry. We are just gonna kill it right now. Perfect. Got a couple nice levels on our boy Ron. Got a nice level on our boy Fudge Cake. All right. Ah, yes. Some poking out of time. Excuse me. Oh, interesting. Um, there are berries that are up here, but as you can see, they are just little sprouts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our Whalmer Pail, and I am going to water the Chesto Berry. Ah, how cute. You can't really see it. Hold on, let me do it over here. This isn't really going to do much, but... Um, ah, okay, so it won't even let me do it if I'm not in front of a berry. So... We didn't really get a good view of it, but that's our whale, that's our whalemer pail. And you can use that to water some berries like that. All right. Berries usually grow, I think, on their own without being watered, but you I think it will speed up the process if you water them, which is cool. Um all right, so now we have fought all those trainers that we skipped. Um so now I am just scooting on back down here. Um, and we are going to go back to Doofer Town to try to start fighting some of the trainers in their gym. Um, and another good strategy when it comes to the Doofer Town gym is if you like don't have great matchups or something, once you deliver that letter to Steven, um, you can go on to the next area where there are a lot more trainers. So yes, Mr. Briny will take us to back to Duford. Oh, I was going to get more repels. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We don't really need repels where we're going right now. We'll get them later. There we go. All right. So now, we still have some time in our stream. We're going to hit up some of these trainers here in uh, the Duford Gym. Um, Duford's Gym actually has a really nice little concept to its gym puzzle, which I really like. And we'll show off here momentarily. Ba, ba, da, da. All right. So as you can see, we're in the darkness here. What does he say? Duford's gym leader, Brawly, commands the fighting type. Oh, awesome. Thanks for following, Draco. Um... Going against him with the normal type Pokemon is asking for trouble. Okay, absolutely. Also going uh, up against him with our boy Ron will be major trouble as well. So we're not going to try. So yes, as we go along, there are trainers here, but it's kind of like a little maze. Um, I kind of have it memorized. I'm going to save here just for a second. Um, but uh, as you fight the trainers... 
um, a little more of that bubble is going to open up. And after we defeat this trainer, you're going to see. Um, let's see. So she's got a Metatite. This is a cool new Pokemon. It is a fighting and psychic type, which is really cool. It's very centered on like meditation, which is a cool concept for a Pokemon. Because um, even though that's like, you know, something that a uh, martial artist might do, meditate, it's also very rooted in like Zen, which again, fighting psychic, which were have kind of been kind of conflicting ideas in the Pokemon universe thus far. Um, so here, Cloud's actually in trouble. <laughs> so I'm going to swap in Ron. Ron might not be able to do much, but hopefully we can get off a mud slap here. And this Metatite honestly might not know a fighting move yet, so Ron might be in the clear. That could be nice. Um, ah, it does no bide, though. So hopefully... Okay. It is not... Oh, thank you for following, Jinx! Appreciate you. Very nice. Thank you. Um, there we go. Da, 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 da. Hello, hello. Thank you. Um, oh, so as you can see there, our little bubble has increased just a little bit. Um, <laughs> no brain plus brawn. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay, so cloud. I'm just going to give cloud a potion really quick. I think I have several, right? I got seven. I won't waste too much more, but... Um, oh, you love Pokemon Emerald? It was the best game. I completely agree. I think it's one of my favorite games ever. Um, and like I said, we, we did our Crystal playthrough here, and Crystal might be my all-time favorite game, um, but Emerald is right up there, baby. Right up there. So here, as we're uh, getting ready to fight Brawly, I'm going to try to invest most of our experience from this gym into Wingle and Trico, because they are probably going to be our two most useful Pokemon. Um, oh, your first game was Pokemon Gold. Mine was Pokemon Silver. Um, wow. We're counterparts. Um, so here... We are probably... We're going to try to double hit into the Mach Machop. Because this Metatite might want to use Bide. And I want to get rid of one of these Pokemon as quick as possible. There we go. Let's keep those big bullet seeds going. Mmm, yes. Okay, four turns. That's good. Or four times, not turns. Perfect. Let's see. You miss these games? I mean, hey, they're out here. They're out here. Um, and you can just stop on by here anytime. Thanks for watching tonight. I appreciate that. Um, let's see. I think one more water gun should deal with the Machop, so I'm going to start hitting into the, meta into the meta type. Oh, nice critical hit there. All right, we're getting some better bullet seed luck now. Um, and as you can see, oh, that did not kill it. That's annoying. Um, as you can see, uh, Machop had Karate Chop there and Low Kick, which both would just annihilate our boy. Uh, Ron, what is that emoji, Brody? Is that Pikachu eating ramen? <laughs> That's what it looks like. Um, ah, yes, so Metatite just used the move Detect. It's a lot like the move Protect. Um, it just stops a move from hitting you for that turn. Um, it's really good for stalling. Okay, so here, don't use it again. Great. We should be able to get rid of this Metatite this turn, I would hope. Um, as long as Bullet Seed cooperates a little bit. Um, and yeah, and that's one thing about Bullet Seed. It's a nice move for the early game. Ooh, a nice five turn. Love to see it. Um, it's a nice move for the early game. Um, but as the game keeps going, it's just not very reliable. But here, this is great. Because Cloud has learned Wing Attack. And like I said, that's going to be crazy important for our battle against Brawly. Okay. Because... You know, we caught our own Makuhita. We caught our own little fudge cake. 
in Granite Cave. But um, Brawly has his own Makuhita that's very powerful for this point in the game. So I'm going to try to fight all the trainers that we can fight in here before we fight Brawly. I believe there's about... I think there's two more left. Um, let's see, another Metatite. So here, let's just kind of test out our wing attack here. Oh, looks great in this game. As you can see, does really nice damage. Super effective against fighting types. So that is why we are really investing in our girl Cloud. And there, we're just going to kind of go through that. Ah, shame they haven't brought the older games to Switch Online. I agree. Um, I think that would be really, really great for them to do. Um, especially because, I think I've talked about this before, I played um, Pokemon Crystal. Ooh, as you can see, there's Brawly right there. But down there, we want to fight that guy still. We want to make sure we get all the experience we can get. I don't think... Oh yeah, there's someone over there too. So we have a couple more battles here. Um, but I think I talked about... I um, got Pokemon Crystal on the 3DS back when that was a thing that you could do. Um, and I loved that because in that game, um, they gave us access to the Celebi event um, in the game, which was super cool because that was something that I was never able to experience as a kid. Um, so when I played that Virtual Console Crystal, I was able to experience something completely new um, with an old game, which is awesome. Such a cool feeling, honestly. Alright, let's see what we can do with Trico in this next fight. There we go. Yes, we've got one more guy here. And as you can see, now that we have fought all of the trainers, or this it will now be all the trainers, now that we've fought all of the trainers, um, we can uh, really see in the gym. It's not as much of a maze anymore. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brody's doing the damage calculations over here for wing attack. You are That is really interesting that, on, that, that only did half HP on the Metatite. Um, so this Machop is using focus energy, which raises its critical hit ratio. Um, okay, it did not help it this time. I'm going to speed up just a hair while we do this. That's annoying. Okay, one more quick attack. That'll do the trick. But love to see it. Awesome, I wanted Piccolo to grab one more level. Um, as a matter of fact, Piccolo does evolve at level 16. Um, but... That's okay. Is there another trainer up here? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, especially when you get a crit and it should be a one-shot. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, so let's come back here and heal. <laughs> That's my bullet seed, only twos and threes. That's right. Okay, folks. So, I we're kind of up against the time that I usually go. But do you want me to try to give Brawly, Brawly a battle or, or what? I was thinking of maybe leaving it on a cliffhanger tonight. But if you guys really want me to fight him, I will. What do you think? Ba -da, da -da. I'll save here while you're thinking. Do it, please. You got it. Ask and you shall receive. All right. So now we're going to give Brawly a try. I don't know how this is going to go. Um, it should go okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to start... Mm, no, I don't know. Let's start with Cloud. Let's start with Cloud. And we'll see what we can do. I'm Brawly. Okay. So, Brawly's kind of like a kind of like an active almost surfer guy. He's kind of rebranded as that in the remake. So, here as you can see, he begins with a Machop. It's at level 16. So, our levels are overall on the low side, and Machop actually has some pretty good defense. So, even though 
that is a super effective move. Um, it doesn't do that much damage. And as you can see, it's a bit more powerful than our Wingle, so even though that Karate Chop is not very effective, it's still going to do a little bit of damage. Um, I believe one more would knock out our Wingle. But, <laughs> can't wait to see how Ron does. I mean, Ron might be... Uh, might be a pivotal part of this fight. He might uh, let us get a safe switch in. So here, um, I am just going to use, I'm gonna use Fudge Cake here um, because something that this Metatite will do is that it wants to try to use a move called Focus Punch every turn, um, which kind of makes it a little bit free. As you can see, you see right now, it's tightening its focus. So all you have to do is hit it. And if you hit it, it will not move. Um, so, what we what we can do is we can uh, see it lost its focus and it couldn't move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of speed through this a little bit. <laughs> One thing I did do is I did kind of uh, miscalculate here. Um, I am actually probably going to sack Zigzagoon right now. When I say sack, I mean sacrifice. Um, just because it's going to take forever. Focus Punch is a very powerful move, which is why it takes like a turn to charge up like that. Um, so funny enough, I'm actually going to use Ron, who would get annihilated by a Focus Punch. But as long as you use a 100 accuracy move, like Headbutt or like Arm Thrust, um, Focus Punch will never hit. Um... And since Focus Punch is the only move that it can use, we are really going to get this thing down. The only annoying thing is it just uses Super Potion. Um, yeah, and sometimes when I use Speed Up in this game, things can get a little bit shrill with the music, so I'm just having it, having it muted for now. Um, it is very funny that our boy Ron can be useful in this fight. But this is actually something that I'm happy to see. Um, because you don't want him to use, um, super potions on his Makuhita. Um, let's see here. There we go. So it's nice that he uses it on his Metatite there. So something that we can do here is, hmm, what do I want to do? What moves do you have, Fudge Cake? You have Sand Attack. And our boy Ron does have Mud Slap. Um, the only problem with Mud Slap is I'm going to stay in. The only problem with Mud Slap is we can lower Makuhita's accuracy, hopefully, this turn. Yes. But what it probably did is it probably used a move called um, Vital Throw. And what Vital Throw does is that it always hits second, but it always hits. So it is nice having one accuracy drop in case he decides to use another move, um, but it's not going to be the most effective thing. Let's see. <laughs> Brawly, it can't move. Stop using your super potions. Absolutely. Um, I really wish there was a way that we could, like, paralyze uh, Makuhita or put it to sleep or something. Um... Something that I would love to do, if I could, would be to lower its attack. Um, yes, because Brawly has this move called Bulk Up. Um, and what Bulk Up does is it increases its attack and its defense. Um, so, hopefully this doesn't quite kill Piccolo yet, and it does. Okay. Um, so... Here, what I'm going to do, I try. My strategy was to lower its defense a little bit so that Wingle could come in and hopefully clean up. Now, I'm going to use a potion on Wingle, and that will. Actually, that won't quite get it to full, so I'm going to use a super potion. Alright. Oh, you have crystal on one of your DS and blue on the other. Very cool. Um. So now we have Vital Throw that knocks out Makuhita, unfortunately. Now, now that uh, Makuhita's defense has lowered, my hope is that we must hope and pray. You're right. 
Should I use Supersonic? Supersonic might be our only hope here. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, good. If we can get Makuhita to hit itself, maybe once or twice, we should be able to win. Great. Awesome. That does great damage because it does more when it raises its attack. Okay, good. It has a berry. Oh, if this hits itself, it's dead. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, that's awesome! Good work, team! What a team effort! Oh, that was awesome! GG's! That's right! Oh, very cool. Very cool. Awesome. Made a much bigger blast uh, splash than I expected. Oh, that was clutch, guys. Awesome. So now the whole gym lights up. Oh, so cool. He gives us the knuckle badge. We gave him a knuckle sandwich. Cloud is the goat. Cloud is awesome. That was so fun. That was so cool. Um, all right. And so now we can use Flash. So this is where we would technically get the letter to Steven. And he actually gives us the TM for bulk up, which is great. Um, and we are going to save that TM for something later. We'll see. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, you have to work on all of your team and not and not have an overpowered team. That is so right about these older games. You kind of have to invest in your team a little bit more. Um, okay, so now guys, um, I am longer than I usually go, so I am going to call it here. Um, but this has been so fun. That was gr a great fight, great first uh, uh, vic first try victory against Brawly. That was super cool. Jinx, thank you for coming in. Uh, it was so fun talking to you. Um, so hopefully I'll see you next time. We're probably going, we're going to stream this game again. I don't know when, but probably sometime this weekend. Maybe not my usual Saturday. It might be Sunday. But with that, thanks for stopping in. Um, love Pokemon Emerald. Can't wait to do it again. And, uh, peace out, kids.